In this video, I'm gonna show you the basics for categorizing your transactions in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. When it comes to actually getting your transactions on your books, you have to take the transactions that come in from your bank feed and categorize them. So there's two ways you can do this. You can either match them to a manually added transaction in the system, such as a bill payment or an expense, or you can add them and just categorize them on their own without matching them to something. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of these things. The first thing you're going to do is go to the banking area in Zoho Books. And if you scroll down, you'll notice that I have 847 uncategorized transactions in my checking account and one uncategorized transaction in my taxes account. So I'm gonna open up my checking account by clicking that link right there, and you'll see an overview of my checking account. The first tab will give you a little overview of the account itself. The second tab will show you all of your uncategorized transactions, and the final tab will show you all of the transactions that's related to this particular account in Zoho. So our focus here is really the uncategorized transactions because we're looking to categorize them. You'll notice that listed over to the right-hand side, you have deposits and withdrawals, as well as in the middle is your details, and over on the left is your date. I kind of said that backwards, but that's how I look at it. And what you'll do is you go through each of these individually and decide what accounts they go to based on the types of transactions they are. For example, if I open up this first one, let's say that this was an expense that I had for office supplies. And I actually already added this expense into the system. Maybe I went to Office Depot and I used the system to, to record that transaction. Um, so it's already in the system. It's just waiting for the bank transaction to come across the bank feed. And once it's posted, I'll be able to match it through this system here. So if you see when I clicked on it, off to the right hand side here, you'll see best matches and possible matches. So my best matches here, there's an expense here for office supplies dated 1015, which is the day before this posted transaction. And I know that this is the transaction I'm looking for. So I'm just simply gonna click this match button and that will add it to my books. Now let's move down to another transaction. Here's one from Amazon. If I click on this, you can see it automatically went to categorize manually instead of match transactions. That typically means there isn't one that the system thinks it should match to. If you wanted to look for a match, you can click on the match transaction option. Otherwise, you're going to just categorize it manually. And to do that, you need to pick the category in which it should exist. Um, and one thing to note is these will come from your chart of accounts. And if you need to add some additional categories and accounts, you can do that from your chart of accounts. And I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. The next thing you're going to do is pick the specific account. So this is an expense. Um, I'm going to call this office supplies as well. I can add a vendor. I don't have any vendors in my system now, but I know that this is Amazon. So if I wanted to add Amazon as a vendor, I could type that in click new vendor, I can fill out all of the vendor's information and click save, and it will add that vendor here. I can see the date, I don't need to change that, that came from the bank feed, and the amount. I could also add a reference number or a description if I wanted. I could upload the receipt um, by attaching it here, either from my desktop or even from my doc document section of Zoho. And when I'm done entering all of this information, I just click save. Um, you'll see a pop-up here. You can create a rule based on the transaction that you just entered, and you can set some specific criteria about that. I'll create another video that talks about rules, but right now we're just going to ignore any rule creation. So I just added a transaction by matching to something that was already in the system and by adding one manually. And that's really how you'll get all of your transactions into your Zoho books. You'll want to do this for all of the transactions in your accounts, 
and this will get everything categorized and onto your books. I will create some additional videos to go through some of the more detailed nuances of this process so you know exactly what you're doing. Thanks for watching.